Swimming training is unfortunately often thought to be rather boring and dull and I guess it's easy to understand why. It's fairly repetitive, it's not as social or maybe not as easy to explore as you can when you're cycling and running. But it needn't be the case. There are plenty of ways in which you can make your swimming training more interesting and more fun. So today, I'm out in Foot Ventura at the Playtest Resort, and I'm gonna be bringing you a number of ways in which you can make your training more exciting and more fun. Routine is great, but swimming in the same pool on every single swim can start to get rather boring and make your swimming training less fun. One way of changing this though is by swimming in a different pool. Not necessarily for every single swim, but every once in a while. You'll be amazed by how different this feels and how much more interesting it can make your training by being in a different environment. Music can really help to make your swimming more fun. Even if it's just playing on poolside, being able to hear some of your favorite tunes when you get in at the end of each rep can really help to get you through a workout. And if you're really enjoying that, then why not invest in some means of listening to that underwater? Maybe a personal player so you can listen to that through some headphones or one of those speakers that you can place underwater so you and your mates can all groove away to the music. A way to make your hard sets more fun and more interesting is actually by using the space around the pool as well as the water itself. You could try doing 100 or 200 meter efforts or reps broken up by some land-based exercises outside of the pool such as press-ups, sit-ups, squats, whatever you like. So for example, you could be doing 10 lots of 100 meters, getting out between each of the 100 meter reps and doing 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 squats. Or you could just quite simply just get out, go around the block, dive back in or get out, touch the wall outside of the pool and then dive back in. That's actually a really good way of bringing some specificity into it for those triathletes out there that need to get skilled at doing exercises directly after swimming. But before you do do that, just make sure it's okay to do so with the pool that you're doing it in and do make sure that you don't run on poolside. You could also include some open water skills into your swimming, which is a really good and natural way of incorporating some hard efforts into your training. Try this one, for example. In a group, set off in reverse order in terms of speed. So the fastest swimmer will go at the back. And the aim is to be the first to the wall, to the end of that rep, whether that's 100 meters, 200 meters, whatever you like. Now, obviously you can do, do this in a pair or you can do it in threes or better, do it as a group. And on that note, Let's now talk through some of the benefits to group swimming. Woo! See, swimming in a group is a surefire way to make your swimming more enjoyable and more fun and to help pass the time more quickly as opposed to swimming on your own. Also, by swimming in a group, it will hopefully distract you from the effort or the intensity that you're trying to exert because instead you're trying to keep up with other swimmers or you're pacing yourselves upon other swimmers and their pace. Now, if you do have a coach on poolside, that's fantastic. That can also be a real big help and benefit to you. But if you don't, then why not take it in terms to be the coach? Maybe every few weeks, one of you will be the coach on poolside or if you need to, coach within the water. All right, but how about including some dead turns into your swimming? Now, a dead turn is simply when you go into the wall to do a tumble turn, flip turn, or even a touch turn, but you don't touch the wall or don't push off of the wall. So this is a really good way of just naturally adding some intensity and some hard work into your swimming. See, by doing that, you then obviously don't get the acceleration off of the wall, so you've got to kick really hard, pull really hard to get that back up. Also, it's quite specific for those triathletes out there because, well, in the open water, we don't get to stop or push off the wall, get a recovery, so then we can just practice that continual swimming. And on that note, why not also throw in some sighting as we would in the open waters? We're trying to see where we're going just every so often or every other length, maybe just do a little bit of sighting every few strokes. Playing with toys is never fun, right? Yeah, said no one ever. We all enjoy playing with toys, so why not bring that into the swimming world too? We've got things like fins, paddles, kickboards, pool boys, elastic bands, sponges, you name it. And why not start trying them out using some new toys in the swimming pool or just changing up a little bit using some larger paddles or fins for sprint efforts. Just whatever you do, if you are using anything new or larger paddles, for instance, don't do too much too soon. Just build up very gradually. And also just be sure to make sure that you are allowed to use those toys in your local swimming pool. 
Okay, this one might seem fairly odd, but it can genuinely make our swim workouts more fun because most of us out there are type two athletes and we just enjoy a bit of suffering. Yeah, start including some IM and some other strokes into your workouts. Even if you are a triathlete, you may think, why do I need to do that? Well, actually it can really help increase your strength and actually your efficiency as a swimmer. And not to mention, it's also just quite a fun challenge. Why not see how many hundreds of IM you can do or see how far you can get swimming butterfly. But now for my final and favorite tip, it's the dive downs. Now essentially you just swim along, dive down to the bottom of the pool, touch it with your hands and then push off with your feet quickly and carry on swimming. Or if you like, you can do a number of dive downs in quick succession. So dive down, touch the ground as you come up, go straight into some butterfly arms and then straight back down again. Essentially a big dolphin dive that you might see in a triathlon. Just do a few of them, quick succession and then carry on swimming. Personally, I find it's a great way of breaking up some of those long efforts and just keep that swimming a little bit more interesting. Well, hopefully that's given you some inspiration for your swim workouts to make your swimming a little bit more fun. If you've got any other ideas that you utilize or do in your own training, then drop them in the comment section below so we can have a little gander and maybe share with the rest of the world out there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give us a like and don't forget to follow GTN.